Namaste. The healing energy is subtle, it's quiet, and it's light. And for us to feel and later on use this spiritual force, we need to practice and develop the skill of stillness and silence. It takes time since it will require physical and internal energy, control of our senses and our autonomic functions, as well as off the mat services, our lifestyle management, our health, and the spiritual responsibilities attached to our practice. And in this force comes from our own fire we develop through uh, strengthening the physical body. Thus, there's nothing wrong with developing the physical body. It's part of the process, but we need to acknowledge when to stop and do it moderately. Because the fire, yeah, if we overproduce this fire, it could break our bodies and it will render the practice of meditation useless. Yeah. For us to produce this electricity needed for it to become healing, we need to blend it with another force. And the subtle life force coming from the breath and what we store inside in our brain. When we blend these two forces and some meditation um, practices, yeah, um, particularly for that purpose, say if you practice yoga, if you have a teacher, be grateful the teacher will just give you the program. But it could be learned, really. Yeah on your own through time and practice. Yeah. And this uh, combination of the forces we blend inside our bodies will yield to this healing force. Yeah. So in the practice of stillness, it will manifest as electrical pulsations covering your skin. Then through time and practice, it will um, manifest as sound frequencies, yeah. vibrations, humming sound, rumbling sound, until it becomes high and then mellows down to something soothing like musical sounds and even you can hear the frequency of your brain and then again many years into the practice you will see the image of this energy first flickering flashing lights then it will dissolve into this beautiful white radiance and then when you meditate upon a deep absorption you can see the images dance the lines the colors the patterns the shapes these are all present, it's just that our senses are so dominant that when we're able to control our senses, this subtle energetic manifestations will start to happen. But there are people who are inherently sensitive. These are the spiritual healers, bless them. They are the most healing and balancing the forces surrounding our community. So how can we channel this energy now? The hands are very healing. You know, we could hover them over the bodies of our students, or our clients, our loved ones, friends. You know, we could transfer our healing force to an element such as water. Water absorbs energy. So by holding to a glass of water, a pot of water there, or even lightly blowing and breathing through it, we could transfer our healing force there. You know, we could wear ornaments such as necklaces, mala necklace, and they absorb uh, the healing force, crystals, beads. Yeah. So you can amplify the frequency of your own energy by playing, for example, Tibet and Bolt, yeah, such as this. So you can actually use this to cleanse your ornament. Yeah. So by playing the bowl like this, we amplify the frequency. And you don't have to do anything after this. Yeah, the frequency travels. And with that is the healing force. Right. By singing chanting and then by praying you know, we amplify and we send out our force there that is why places of worship temples or churches mosques they're so healing you know when you enter those uh, places suddenly you're going to feel it right away on your skin by burning incense and because the smoke of the incense absorbs our energy and this energy travels and the smell of the incense is approved by God, so to speak. Yeah, and the different sins, the different variants of the incense um, directly connect to specific points in our uh, inner brain. Thus, we amplify the soul man inside. Yes, so we are all capable of becoming spiritual healers, energy channelers. And as one, we do not have to be visible 
We do not have to be out there and be seen and be noticed. By doing our own share you know, silently in our own sacred place, yeah, we could serve the community as well because our, our energies travel to places where it's needed. There's no right, there's no wrong energy, there's no bad or heavy energy. Yeah? Every energy serves a particular purpose depending on the situation. So for example, if we feel restless and overstimulated, we do not want to be surrounded with chaotic elements. Thus, we go to places where it's quiet, we want with nature. On the other hand, if we need energy, just go to a playground where kids play and then suddenly your energy level rises. So it really depends on the situation. And as energy channelers, we are both giver and receivers. So we give energy, but we are exposed to absorbing this electrical forces as well. Thus, we need to do some recovery. We need to restore. We need to do our own cleansing. And we need to rest.